last one. a village. There you go. That's just the standard day? Yeah. What time? First. Oh, we might have got you too close. No, we could slide that back under there. This sure makes it easy. Well, don't hold there because that's going to go down. All right, I'm holding, well, on. I'm holding on you. Say when. Okay, go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, 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 oh that right, that right. was right. Oh, that was right. Let's scoop me back this way a little. Okay. Right, this will work here. This will work here. Ready? Yep. Dudes. Just a second. A My legs got short. day. Da 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 da. <laughs> you just oh. need longer legs. Da, 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 da. I'm gonna say one more little. Yeah, beauty. You in? Yeah. yeah. Do it. That's just like kicking you. Yeah. There's some satisfaction in that, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm sick of hauling this fat, fucking, gigantic piece of slump of shit around all day. You can get it out and take it out of me. Buddha. <laughs> <laughs> Times get rough. This is where it counts. Right here, kids. Don't let mom tell you to be skinny. <laughs> be heavy. That kind got tough. You need a little extra. You all right? There's them all. Look. Going to talk about a number of points that are important to uh, the ALS Association, the ALS community, and things that I think are important that they should be investigating. So uh, I'm very excited. I, we've done this a number of other times, but uh, this is great. This is great right here in the big, big city. Do you think these people actually listen to you? Yeah. Yeah. Believe, I hope believe, so. Believe I believe it. System. I have to. We the best system in the world, but if they don't listen to me now, they're going to listen to me later. I'll tell you that. This is the Hart Building, right? It is, uh, this is Dirksen. Oh, but Dirksen. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, we're SH three o three. SH three o three. So third floor three o three. Yeah, SH three o three. Yeah. No, no. I mean, the building's kind of kind of cold and creepy. Melanie Benny is uh, just checking with the press office, and uh, Senator Brownback is on his way back to Kansas. Uh, they had no votes today. Is that what you said? Uh, there were no votes. No votes yesterday. So he left to go back to Kansas to handle some state business, and uh, we'll be meeting with Melanie Benny. Interesting. Uh, Ridley. Bob Did Wilson, you nice to see you. Here? How are you? Doing well. Good. You know, I don't know how much you know about ALS. I, I know a great deal, actually. I gave a speech at your national conference two years oh, ago on the lack of access to treatments for ALS patients, and Steve Gibson was, um, Steve Gibson. was hosting yep. the speakers. Yep. So I'm very familiar with ALS. Very good. Are you familiar with ALS? Do you have? A little bit, yeah. How much? Um, had a yeah, neighbor that a neighbor. had it. Okay. Well, I played rugby for 16 years, you know. Okay. Now, can you walk at all? No, I, I, about four months ago, I, you know, lost really any ability to really walk at all. I know why you guys aren't letting them in. It's Mizzou grad, like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I have three children. I've always been a 100 percenter. I played 14 years of rugby. I played all over the world. Um, I used to be physically strong enough 
to go through this damn wall. Okay, now I can't even stand up. My name is Bob Wilson, and uh, I'm a Kansas City as well, and I have, like she said, sporadic ALS. I was diagnosed in September of 07, um, and I have uh, three kids, uh, seven, seven, and, and nine, so that's why I find this even incredibly tragic. Uh, this disease has been like somebody came over and just threw a brick in my life, you know, and it's, it's been tough. Uh, it's every day I lose more and more function. I'm one of the unlucky few that rolled 1-1 one, one on the dice, you know and rolled it again. But what gets me so mad is, uh, especially coming out to visit here, is that this is not just an orphan disease. This is a disease that is more common, I think, than people realize. It's almost as common as MS. The pre reason why it's not as com you know commonly well known is because people usually pass away within two to five years. But you know what? It, it, it is once it touches you, or it touches your friends. I'm, I'm a proud Kansas Kansas City Blues rugby player. Got a lot of friends in the Kansas City area. It, it's devastated a lot of my friends. We need to really rethink the way we're investing in the National Institute of Health. Thirty billion dollars is a joke. Joke. If we invested it to say doubled it and moved up some of the stem cell and gene therapy uh, timelines, move our uh, we could move our uh, pharmaceutical industry, which is mired in Me Too technology. I've been selling it for 15 years. You know how many heart attack drugs do we need? I think the funding to the National Institute of Health over the last 16 years has been an absolute joke flatlined okay it is stifled and restricted at every step of the way scientific advancements in gene and stem cell therapy which should be called human regeneration therapy the country that invests in this and comes out with it first and has their companies bring it to the market first will win. If America gets off her ass and starts funding it, we're going to lead the world and the rest of the world can trust our system of medicine because it's honorable, it's ethical, and it's, and it's governed.